We're here at Underworld Skate Shop here in Vancouver, Canada. One of the many spots that's going to be carrying, doing, endorsing, living the alphanumeric lifestyle. This is a company that started back before probably you knew, but back then it was just a little too ahead of its time, but now it's re-releasing, redoing, re-getting done. We're going to talk to some people. We're going to talk to Ali about it. Let's check it out. How we doing up in here on World Alphanumeric? Hello, here we are with Ali Asha Worka Moore, head dude, big chopper over at Alpha Numeric. It's a company that started up like mid 90s, late 90s. I couldn't really pinpoint the date, but they started up quite a while ago, and in my opinion, they're a little ahead of their time. They decided to re release. I don't know what's behind it. We're going to find out. Uh, we're going to talk to Ali right here. So I guess my first question is why now? You know? The, the street wear, if you will, I hate that bloody term, like with a passion, but it, it, it describes it so bloody well. Uh, it's big now. Is that part of the reason why you started back up? Or? I think a big part is something you touched on. We Mirko and I both felt that, or kind of came to the realization 10 years later that perhaps it was a little too ahead of its time. And I, the risk of sounding cocky, or maybe it was just a little too forward. Forward, that's a little Forward more, yeah. Um, and uh, we were just kind of looking at the market and going, man, like, perfect time right now, you know. Um, there's been this weird streetwear frenzy and a gazillion brands. Yeah. And then the gazillion brands is kind of falling off the face of the map. So quick. So, <laughs> In and like out. The skateboard industry. Yeah. You know, there's a five year wave. Um, and, uh, felt like we had a, a lot of unfinished business, so to speak. We're rebuilding the team. There's a bunch of guys that people might recognize. Danny Wallace was our first M, and, and now he's a now team he's manager. A team manager? Um, you know, the team guys were into a lot of different stuff. Um, so we really wanted to kind of give them a platform and, and, you know, let people know that they're actual human beings. Yeah. You know, they're not just these machines. They're just these for producing yeah. footage and... and um, yeah, you know, not everybody was huge, but they all had great character and amazing at what they did. And that you was know, something that attracted people to, you know, the ad campaign was phenomenal. Like, again, man, I'm going to come back to it. And it's going to, you know, it come, not coming from your mouth, it's not going to sound cocky. It was ahead of its time. Vancouver, got some gentlemen, some folk involved with Alphanumeric, the movement, the bra product, the, get, the brand, the gang, had a couple uh, saucy ones. We got Walker Ryan, first am, right over here. But uh, we're going to start with Danny Wallace, who's, who has a history with Alphanumeric. How'd you start with Alphanumeric? Uh, well, I uh, sent a footy tape in, as all kids do. And got a good phone call back, you know. Met all the dudes that were doing it. Ali Asha, Mirko, all the original family. And, uh, Remo and, and Spencer Fujimoto and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, there, there was the pros at the yeah. time, some of the pros. And uh, basically, you know, just skating. I was the flow kid for a while, for a long time. And then... Uh, and you were involved... me some ads. Yeah, you were in the ads and... And then now that, uh, now that the, they got back together, pretty much gave me the chance to develop the team and yeah. handle all the marketing. Did you guys get in any skating here in Vancouver? We did. We, we skated the uh, ever so famous plaza.
still here in Canada, alphanumeric, re-release, relaunch party. We got Raj Mera, the gentleman who's going to be handling alphanumeric here in Canada. He's out of Montreal, he's been doing a lot of good things with skateboarding, Canadian-wise, and just in life in general. I wanted to ask you, you know, what does alphanumeric bring to the table? What, you know, there's streetwear out there, you know, I hate that bloody term. I'll say it again, I hate that term, streetwear, but what is what does alphanumeric bring to the table? Well, alphanumeric, in my, in my mind, I mean, I know it from back in the day, it was a, it was a skate brand. It had, you know, it's influenced by other things than just skate, but coming back, you know, it's the same thing. So in my mind, it's not streetwear, it's a skate brand that's influenced by many other things. I see a lot of, for Canada, is going to get a lot of tees, right. a lot of graphic tees, right. a lot of hoodies, a lot of pullovers, a lot of zips. Right. Is there cut and sew yes. in the mix coming up? Cut and sew is coming for fall. I'm wearing a fall sample myself right now. Jackpot, the, all right. One of the, uh, the tops that I'm wearing right now, I just jacked it for it tonight. Already there's about a, a good 40 piece, a 50 piece line for fall, which we've already pre-booked and did really, really well. And spring 09, fall 09, we know that's going to be our year where you guys are going to really come with some, some really strong products. Word. Rajmara, alphanumeric. Yes. They didn't go nowhere. That's it. We're going to head to the after party right now. Got to chat with Ali, Danny, Walker. Raj, Marathon Trading, alphanumericbrand.com if you want any other info. You'll see it. I don't need to tell you about it. So, big up.